Welcome to This Is The Day. Bo and I are very excited and present and here and ready for the... Hey, Bo, how are you? I had a nose itch. Nose itch, right as, <sighs> right as we went. Drew Crisp here. It's like all day. <laughs> just you ever get those? All, just a <sighs> constant itch. Just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, we had a really inconvenient time. <laughs> it's like right as we went, it was like, attack the nose, attack the nose. June 12th. Woo! Woo! Yeah. 2020. All right. Friday. Here I am. Friday edition of This Is The Day. That's absolutely right. That's absolutely right. Um, Bo. Yes, sir. Um, one thing I think could be interesting to mention up top here is people can share this show. This show? This very show here, they can share it. Like, like online? Online. No, I mean just in personal conversations with people. They you can, could. Yeah, yeah, if something interesting happened, go ahead and you can talk about it. Maybe buy some invitations? Invitations, Send yeah. those out in the mail? Yeah, we can get you uh, printed out invitations no. if you'd like to. No, no, no. <laughs> Say the RSVP nope. up top nope. and <laughs> never, no. It's no. a very exclusive show, you know. Mm. We, don't, we don't necessarily want everyone to know about it. No, 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 no. No, yep. just a select few yep. um, that we allow in mm -hmm. if you have the password. If you've got the password. What's the password? Uh, the password is going to be Knuckles. 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 Knuckles, yeah. Knuckles is the password. Yeah, we do not accept Knux, it's Nux. Knuckles. Nope. Yeah. Nope. And if you uh, don't put that K in front of that N, yep. not gonna allow it. No. The K is very similar to the P in that regard. Yes, yeah, so, you know, P dropped us as yeah. a sponsor. Mm -hmm. I, we didn't ever actually discuss it. We never mentioned that. Discuss it. It was, I didn't want to talk about well, it. it was painful. I'm still, yeah, it was yeah, painful. I won't even say it was painful. It, it was painful. I, it yeah. was painful. Yeah. And Well, it, I mean, with that, you know, cease and desist letter we got from P's lawyer. It's making it really... It's hard to market. do a show without saying the letter P, <laughs> all right? Sorry, I'm just going to say it, and I'm going to lawyer up on this one. I'm fine with it. Yeah. I can't do it. it P is everywhere. It's everywhere. And, you know, I know you worked really hard at cultivating that relationship. I did. Yeah. I did. I, I bought him a lot of uh, meals. We had a lot of meals together. <laughs> um, I, those massages alone were very... Uh, just <laughs> <laughs> so now we're... Uh, <laughs> Cultivating a relationship, relationship with, with Kay. With Kay. And yeah. Kay, we love you, Kay, yes, so yeah. much. Knuckle up. Knuckle up. We're excited for Kay. <laughs> All right. So share the show. Come on, do it. It's clicking to share it. If you do that, you might get a mug. You get a mug. No, you don't get a mug. You might get a mug. You, you might you get have a, a chance to get a mug. So the way this works is we have a limited quantities of these bad boys right here. Yeah. And it is the world's greatest mug. Scientifically yep. proven. That's right. Yes, we consulted with many mugologists, yep. and they have determined that. Yeah. <sighs> it's magical. Yeah. You know, one of the things is a lot of times you've seen those. Um, you've seen the mugs that are a little wider around the rim. Yeah. It gets too cold too fast. Too cold too fast. This too... this has a, a narrow diameter that allows the heat to stay in. Perfect. You, perfect don't, get, mug. you don't get the dribble. No dribble. No dribble effect. It's no. perfect. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No standing there. So it's the perfect mug. But the only way to get one of these bad boys is to share the show. That's it. So once a day, we choose one person who has shared the show, whether watching live or on demand. You can share at any point in the day. Yeah. At the end of the day, our producer, Eric Vines, uh, chooses one lucky winner who has shared the show. That's right. And uh, we call them out and let them know they want a mug. So That's we right. have a winner from Thursday. We do. We do. We Eric do. Vines. Yes, sir. Who do we have? We have today's winner being Patrick Burdock. Hey, Patrick. one of our Patrick production Murdoch. volunteers, he just, his just name just came up. It was fantastic. So, Patrick, way to go. You get your very own mug. Not this mug, a different mug, but you got one. Hi, boy, Patrick, hey. way to share the Good show. Good job, all right. Yeah, yeah so fun. you too could be like Patrick. Right. Share the show, you might get a mug. Might get a mug. Click and share. Click and share, I get a mug. Good. Good thing to do. Yep. Share the show, love it. I tell you a story. Oh, yes. Okay, so... Hands-free. You're familiar with the law of hands-free. Uh, I get it. Very wise. Sometimes I forget the hands-free law, okay? This happened to me last night. Uh, Ryan Bennett comes up on my, my phone. I'm like, oh, Ryan, friend from, from years past. Excited to talk to Ryan. Pick it up. I mean, I'm probably a minute into this conversation. I see a police officer, and I'm like, boy, howdy. And I know she sees it. Okay. Turn into the neighborhood, because honestly, that's where I needed to go, you know? And she follows, lights go on, got a hands-free ticket, man. But I, here's the deal. Did you really? I really did. 
You're the only person I've ever met yeah. that had, you got one. I really got oh, one. Man. And the okay. deal is, I get it. I get yeah, it. I sure. was on the phone. I wasn't speaker phone in it. Yep. I had the, the bad boy up to the ear. Yep. Um, and so really it was like this, we both kind of knew, you know? Sure. You know, and so. I mean, I don't want you to get a ticket. I know. But I am glad to know that the law is being enforced. The law is yeah. being, yeah. And it was yeah. honestly an opportunity for me to go, I appreciate what you do. I get it. Like, I wasn't at all, I wasn't sure. cantankerous. Yeah. I'm loving this K. I'm really gonna push K today. Uh, I wasn't cantankerous. I know it's in the middle. It's not the beginning, but it should be in the beginning, I think. It should be cantankerous with a K. I wasn't. I was pleasant, uh, and I was I was saying, I said, thank you for what you do and all that. But yeah, it happened, man. Hands free. Gotta go hands free. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Law's working. So that's what happened last night. One of the bigger things outside of uh, service, yeah. you know. Services. Thursday service. Thursday sure. service was fantastic. Yeah. Um, and there's more opportunities. Um, we're, in a, we're in a series called TikTok, Book of James, mm -hmm. uh, working through uh, the Book of James. And James chapter two. James chapter two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, for and, sure. Um, Certainly uh, pretty, pretty amazing, uh, just I think in God's sovereignty, how uh, in, in the scriptures, as you study and read them, how they, how he speaks into the very moments that we're in yeah. today. And just right where our series took us in James two is really perfect for kind of what our, our, many of the things our world is yeah. wrestling with right now. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I often think with this cute face, maybe uh, the police will show favoritism on me, you know, but no. No. They show no favoritism. Yeah. The law was broken. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then this weekend, Bo. Uh-huh. You can, well, let me ask you this. What are you up to this weekend? What am I, well, I don't know if you saw this, but uh, the airlines are struggling a little bit. Okay. And uh, not a lot of people traveling, so I mean, some of the fares are just deeply, deeply discounted. And so I, I jumped online and saw these really discounted uh, tickets to Dublin, Ireland. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to do a quick little jaunt. Really? Over No. Okay. I was like, what? You seriously? I have nothing planned this weekend. <laughs> I was like, that's amazing. Yeah. Okay. I got my little weekender bag packed. Yeah, and yes. I'm gonna, ah. I'll be out of the country until Monday. <laughs> okay. You're no, right. I'm not. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. No plans. Okay. How about you? Well, um, you know, trying to look ahead a little bit. Father's Day coming up. Yeah. So I got to start working on the crafts for my dad, you oh, know? Oh, yeah. I bet he really loves He that. loves the yeah. crafts. Yeah. And, uh. So I honestly, uh, I've got a vision a little bit, but and, uh, I don't know if dad, dad may see this, but uh, so I, I was gonna, I don't know, man, I don't wanna ruin it, but dad, there may be my face on some socks uh, and or t-shirt, I don't know yet. So just know that's coming. I like, I like this, I, have you seen these where you can put your face on things? Uh -uh. Like socks and clothing, Eric, you familiar with this? I don't know, like, and uh, you send in a picture, this company will do that and then they'll, they'll mail, mail that to that person, so. It's like, hey, I'm still your child. Here's my face. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I remember like in uh, probably like 1979, I was about six years old, uh, our family went to like a country fair or something. And they had this station where they would take a picture of you and then print it on a, on a T-shirt. Okay. They'd buy this. And so it was a, a picture of my face, but it was like dot matrix kind of printed, like okay. you could really see the pixel, the little things, on a on a t-shirt. Oh, man, I wore that t-shirt out. <laughs> I wore it all the time. Perforated my face, sleeves, right? you could just oh, take yeah. them off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, technology has really come a long uh -huh. way. Yes. <laughs> no, I think that that's. I wish I could find that now. I would definitely do that. Yeah. Oh no, it'd be a cool, yeah, yeah, cool. Just it would be really retro, kind of cool, yeah. like to have it printed that way. I bet they can do that. Yeah, yeah. All right, so it's Friday edition. That's right. So you know, Monday through Thursday, we do the U version Bible app verse of the day. But on Fridays, we mix it up a little bit. Uh, we do the proverb of the day. So there's 31 proverbs in uh, the book of Proverbs, 31 chapters. So one for each day of the month, and today is the 12th. That's so right. we're in Proverbs 12, and I thought we would just go with uh, first one. I love it. Yeah, Proverbs 12, one. It says, whoever loves discipline loves knowledge, but whoever hates correction is stupid. I'm gonna read it again. Okay. Whoever loves discipline loves knowledge, but whoever hates correction is stupid. Strong language. I don't know if that's right. It is right. Uh, sure. I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't know if I think it's right. Well, how about we? So. Uh, how about we go with this? The story you just told me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This is a prime example. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, of this. All right. Uh, you received discipline. For sure. 
um, having broken a law that is there for your safety and the safety of others. For sure. Uh, something that you do is wrong, but it, now it, you were having a hard time remembering it. Right. It, you weren't intentionally trying to harm anyone, but you're having a hard time remembering that. Yeah. There was correction right. uh, that was there. And uh, so you didn't, you didn't hate that, you received it. Right. And now that correction there, you're, you'll live more wisely. For sure. You'll live that out. It, yep. But, you know, to be mad about that or to, to, you know, crumble up the ticket, throw it out the window and not pay mm -hmm. it, well, I mean, that's a stupid thing to do. For sure. Yeah. For sure. And then to continue in that same behavior and then your problems will just, they'll just pile up on top of each other. Yep. I, I stand corrected uh, in that regard. I stand corrected in that I believe this verse is true. <laughs> it is absolutely true. <laughs> you've been, you've you've been, been corrected. You've been corrected in, in, many, in many regards today. Yeah. I take it. I don't want to be stupid. No way. How? No. 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 And, and good, I, I think the knowledge is, is fantastic. It's good to have knowledge. Sure. You know? Yeah, and always uh, be learning and growing. Yeah. And you know, then there and there and there's different components of knowledge. There's sure. kind of head knowledge, factual things, and then there's heart knowledge, relational knowledge, and all are important. They're important in our relationship with God, but they're important in every relationship. Like getting to do the show with you. Yeah. Um, you know, the more time we spend together, the more connected we become relationally. But I learn a lot about you, hmm. and, uh, and the stories you tell, and yeah. um, and so the, the the knowledge goes really hand in hand. Yep. That experiential kind of knowledge. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. All right, uh, awesome. Okay, so in my closet, mm -hmm. I have this uh, calendar that, that, that hangs out in there. One page a day gets to see the light <laughs> of day. In uh, today's uh, calendar, closet calendar page for June 12th, Friday, 2020, it's a recipe. We got a uh, mixed berry trifle. Ooh. You like the trifles, do you? I don't know if I know what a trifle is. Well, there's a recipe on okay. the back. It's the mixed berry trifle, so if you flip it over there, yeah. Uh, we have our recipe. So here's the ingredients you're gonna need. All right. You're gonna need two pounds of mixed fresh strawberries, raspberries, strawberries, or mixed fresh berries. So okay. you want raspberries, strawberries, and blackberries. You're gonna need a quarter cup of sugar. That doesn't seem overwhelming. That's not too yeah, much Yeah, no, sugar. I'm okay with that. Um, one package of ladyfinger cookies. Okay. Yeah, no, yep. it's not what you're thinking. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, and then uh, you need a raspberry liqueur and a jar of lemon curd. Mm -hmm. That sounds kind of gross. Mm -hmm. And then some whipped, 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 whipped cream. Whipped cream. Whipped cream. Yeah. You think they would allow me to substitute the lady fingers for some butter fingers? Sure. If you want. I don't know that it would taste mm -hmm. all that great. I don't know either. Yeah. A lot of crunch there. Definitely more crunch. The, the lady yeah. fingers are soft. Is yeah more. Yeah. Um, that's what I. That's how it feels. Is that, is that how yeah. Lady fingers. Yeah, that's the, what I think. Lady yeah, yeah. fingers. Little mixed berry uh, trifle. Okay. Yeah. So make All yourself right. up one of those. Those are those are fun. Yeah. They're good. I like when you have different fruits and berries together. You seem like a layered dessert guy. Uh, yeah. 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 Who was it? Was it Johanna talking about not uh, not liking fruit in her salad? Oh yeah. 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 She didn't want the fruit in the salad. Uh, I'm on the I'm on the opposite spectrum. You want the throw that fruit in? Yeah. yeah. Caesar salad. Throw in some strawberries. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. I noticed there was no rhubarb in this. No rhubarb. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe think about that. Yeah. We'll saw, do a layer of rhubarb. I saw in the comments a lot of people were like, I guess there's a lot of rhubarb up in Maine. So people were saying that uh, rhubarb is common. More common than, than I had yeah, realized. I don't know what they're doing with it, though. Like, why are you growing rhubarb? I don't see the demand. People like it. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they say. All right. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Recipe okay. for a trifle. It's a good summer dessert. Yep. Always, always fun. Um, and then in uh, my kitchen, we have another calendar that gives us a national day to celebrate every day. And uh, I'm not really sure what to do about today. I, I saw it on there, but mm. you may have some ideas. Yeah. Uh, today is National Magic Day. Okay. Okay, Bo. I love magic. You do? I really do. Okay. I think it's fantastic. Like just watching it? Or? Watching it, uh, uh -huh. seeing the craft of a magician, you know, because there is this dispended belief it's like did that happen that can't i know that's not possible how do you how but you know you, you like some people really want to know the you how you have the tension of just like how then you instead know instead of just enjoying it yes or whatever, yes yeah. yes yes um and so i actually have been studying the craft for for quite some time have you um okay. yeah and honestly it kind of really starts with the thumbs okay you know the what thumbs you... really are where all magic begins um and so you really honestly uh, just if you wanna just kind of here we go, hold here on. Go. What's happening? Okay, hold on. Watch Bo, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove my thumb. 
for a time. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa! Put just, it back! Okay, 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 okay. All right, yes. Okay. okay. Uh huh. Okay. Yes, absolutely. So we don't do that again. Okay, that was, I know, okay, I know. It, uh, and I really can't do it too often. Heart, uh, my heart is racing. And then honestly, what's crazy mm. too is um, I can take my um, I can take my nose. Your nose. And and I can I can pop it out of socket. Okay, okay. are you ready for this? Here we go. Oh, 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 and so then, um, so that's really kind of where it started for so me. So you started, yeah. Yeah, and then um, I, I actually, can I, I have a, an alter ego. What, you have, you're like a, like like a, a magician stage Like a magician's stage alter thing? ego. It's, it's the great Drew Beanie. Okay. And I was wanting to make a request to you today, Yes, Bo. Drew Beanie, the great Drew Beanie. Yes, I need a lovely assistant. <gasps> would you be my lovely assistant? <laughs> I would be. <laughs> Honored okay. to be the lovely assistant of the great <laughs> Drew Beanie. All right. Okay. Um, so I've placed a wig over there for you. Okay. And uh, before I, I'll go ahead and put on my cape. All right. And and do you have a name? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Bobella. 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 And the great Drubini. Mm. First, for my first trick, I'm going to pull a stingray out of the hat. <laughs> ah. Ta da! Yay! Okay. Wow. Wow. Drubini. <laughs> I'll wear the hat. For my next trick, I'm going to appear onto the desk a tiny moon. Oh, tiny moon. Oh. He's done it. And now I'm going to levitate said tiny moon into orbit. Here we go. Ooh. Bo, do you see the dark side of the moon? <laughs> Is it dark magic? What have you done? Uh, what have you done? One small step for Drubini. <laughs> one great giant leap for Bobella. <laughs> Let's go ahead and lower said moon <gasps> back to the desk. <laughs> and now we're going to Bring it away. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, whoa, 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 it's too much. For my last trick, Bobella, please That's put too... out your hand. Okay. I'm going to make fire appear in your hand. No. I'm, all you need to do is say one, two, three, fire. Okay. All right. One, two, three, fire. What? Oh, Whoa. Oh, it burns! It burns! It's oh. warm, even. Oh. Oh. All right. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, we can go Okay. Away. Oh. Oh. oh, fire's oh. gone. Okay. Drubini. The great Drew Beattie and Bobella, everyone! Yeah. Okay, <laughs> yes! Oh, yes. Okay. Ooh, right. Magic day! <laughs> I love magic. I had no idea how yes. talented you are. I know it. That yes. was pretty impressive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. No? yeah. Yeah, these are, and I'm just beginning, honestly. Um, uh, I'm, in a, I'm in kind of a, a webinar right now with David Blaine. Uh huh. And, um, he is, he doesn't do anything with magic. He talks a lot about um, like finances mm -hmm. and like, um, like how to buy into this like magic scheme he's got going on. Uh, he's not <laughs> teaching me any like sleight of hand stuff or anything. Like I'm like, I... when are we gonna learn about the saw and swallowing the sword? And he's like, for $5.95. Yeah. I think it's more He's of, got his hand in your wallet. I feel like it's a little more yeah. of like a scheme, like a, a, a Ponzi scheme than it is he's wanting to teach me magic. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. I, you know, I. I, I've been doing uh, this uh, webinar mm -hmm. with uh, the great assistant, um, mm. yes, Miss mm -hmm. uh, uh, 
Miss Thumbelina. Thumbelina. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Thumbelina's <laughs> webinar is yeah. amazing. It's been pretty good. Yep. I can't do the magic, but uh, mm -hmm. I think I can be a lovely assistant. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You were great. You I are great. I tr you know, I tried. Yeah. It felt good. It felt, <laughs> it felt very natural. <laughs> it, really, it really did. You know who, uh, you know who I think is pretty magical? Who's that? A good friend of mine, Drew Var Burpton. Dude, that Reading Bow Range. That Reading Bow Range show. Man. Yep. That's uh, he I've sent, a lot on that. He sent us another one. Oh. He did. Good. And uh, so we, we said, hey, we'll, we'll put it on air. Let's watch that. Um, so yeah. let's check out Reading Bow Rain. Butter knife in a pie. Had life twice in junior high. Kitchen nook that loves to cook. Reading Bow Rain. I can't go anywhere. Trends to know the shoes that glow. A reading bow rain. A reading bow rain. <sighs> Hello, welcome to Reading Bow Rain with your host, Drew Var Burpton. I'm your host, Drew Var Burpton. You'll notice today we're at Izzy's Milky Way ice cream shop, where their ice cream is, as they say, out of this world. I wouldn't know, I only get hot water. And their hot water is fair. Bo, I notice you have headphones on today. What are you listening to? Ooh, real big fish. It's a 90s ska band. I think I know why Bo is listening to 90s ska. We're going to be joined by my good friend, Stevie TV. Hello there, Stevie TV. Hello there, Drew Bar. That's our secret handshake. Well, not so secret anymore. Stevie TV knows a lot, I mean a lot, about 90s ska music. In fact, Stevie TV, we always start our time with a 90s ska fact. Do you have one for us today? Ska will surely live beyond Y2K. I did not know that. That was amazing. Thank you so much. Bo, did you know that 90s ska fact? He says he does. He doesn't. Let's begin, shall we? This is a book about bubbles, written by my friend Gold Jitters. You should find it if you can. As always, we're going to begin by wrapping our forefinger in aluminum foil. It's pretty simple. Just take your forefinger and smash the aluminum foil against it. It sticks. It should look like this. Okay, the book I've chosen for today is a 3D illustration book of the development of a child from conception to birth called The Facts of Life. Stevie TV, have you read this one? Mm, negative. You're in for a treat. Bo? He's seen it too. I want to apologize to anyone that I may have offended with the illusion of showing the human anatomy. The book Facts of Life, as Stevie TV told me, was not a good decision. So that's going to conclude our time today. Bo? Bo? He's still listening to 90s ska. Stevie TV, thank you so much for being here today. You are my best friend, and you are my babysitter. You are welcome, Drubar. That concludes our time. Go ahead and put away all your artifacts that you got out, uh, including your aluminum foil finger. We'll need it for next time. All right. Izzy's Milky Way has the best hot water. I like it. Thank you so much. Reading Bow Rain. A reading Bow Rain. <sighs> Welcome back to This Is the Day. Yeah. This is the day. Welcome back. Yep. So, go. No, what? I say we, we have Motivation Monday. Oh, we do, yeah. Tuesday's Tips. We have them. Wednesday Wonder. We have that. Throwback Thursday. I'm sorry. Oh, so, yep. So sorry. Uh, okay. Okay. 
Throwback <laughs> Thursday. Throwback yeah. Thursday, and then we do Freaky Friday. Freaky Friday. And um, since it's Magic Day. It is Magic Day, and it, and it is Freaky Friday. It is. And we just had a pretty freaky moment. We did. We did. And, and um, one thing I wanted to apologize to you about, because you were like, you didn't tell me you were going to put fire in my hand. That's yeah. something you, I w honestly, if you're going to put fire in someone's hand, you need to warn them. Well, you asked me to be your assistant. Yeah. And I, I wasn't sure what that would entail. Right, right. Yeah. And so um, it was kind of freaky for you. It was. And I was, I was wanting to, would you, would you want to do it again, or, or would you? Well, I, okay. I will do it again. Okay. I will do it again. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, so let me... Freaky Friday. Freaky Friday. I will do this for Freaky Friday and Freaky Friday only. Okay. Okay, here we go. Wait, do I do the... The one, one two, two, three, three. fire. Okay. okay. One, two, three, fire. <gasps> it's so freaky, man. It's so freaky, man. I know. I can't. I know it. It is... I know we're not using the letter P, oh. but it is phenomenal. Oh, it's freaky. It is phenomenal. It oh, is. Man. It's freaky with a P. Mm. It's freaky. Oh, yes. It's freaky. It's so warm. It's freaky. It's Friday. Freaky has ah. a K. Freaky Friday. <laughs> freaky. Fire. Here we go. Get rid of it. Make it go. <gasps> okay, okay. Oh, oh my fire. God. Man. Ooh. Look at that. <clears throat> All right. Well, I wonder if people, um, because in my uh, David Blaine webinar, um, I kind of started telling people I do this, and a lot of people kind of are starting to ask kind of how. And um, so if, if you are curious about how to create fire in someone's hand, um, I'm actually starting my own webinar. Okay. Um, Drubini is, actually. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, uh, it's about $4,000 for a two-hour course. Yep. Um, so, yeah. Like a master class. Master class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a master class. <laughs> uh, that was pretty freaky. And, and um, how to post that at fire on somebody's hand. Yeah. I'll tell you something that's not freaky, okay. but is like really amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, our church, MCC. Absolutely. Love our church. Just, I, I love uh, how our church really is embracing uh, and understanding that we are the church. Absolutely. People. Uh, the church is not a, not a building. Nope. It's not an organization, you know, it's, it's people, it's the local church. And when we come together as followers of Jesus in the family of God, and uh, he brings us together in all the unique gifts and the diversity and everything else, this beautiful kaleidoscope of people that make up his church, then his power is really, the power of his love is really able to then be unleashed in our community. Mm -hmm. And um, I think a lot of times people miss out on that and they don't understand that who, who you are, everyone, every yep. one of you, who you are, God is calling you into his family and he has a plan and a purpose for you within the yep. context of his local church. So if MCC is your church home, you have an announcement for them. I really what do. What do you got? Yes, um, we have an opportunity for you to kind of learn a little bit more about the mission, vision of what we do. Uh, it's called Next and it is happening, and we have a slide here. Uh, it is happening on Sunday, June 14th from 1215 to 115. Um, and so uh, this is the best place for people to get connected to MCC. And so you go to manchesterchristian.com slash events to register um, for this uh, online class. Uh, it's not like a webinar from David Blaine, all right? You're actually going to get some real useful uh, material here. And um, again, there might be people who have uh, since you know, kind of come on online, kind of trying to understand a little bit, are these the people that I can walk with? Mm -hmm. And that's a valid question, and I fully understand that. Uh, and so this next is this time for us to kind of get to know each other, um, have these conversations, answer any questions you may have, give some information about how we're moving forward with our vision, um, how we uh, take seriously this call to pray for one, you know? Yep. Um, you know, God, give me one person uh, to share your love with. Yes. And so... Yeah, good. That's next. Awesome. Yeah. Love that. Yeah, yeah. I hope you guys will uh, join us for next. Yes, absolutely. That's fantastic. Absolutely. Okay, so, um, you know, four days a week, I do the weather. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just mostly because I think it's just obnoxious that people are so <laughs> fixated with the weather and talk about the weather. So one day a week on Fridays, we mix it up a little bit. And uh, I let uh, Drew over here. Yep decide uh, where we're gonna do the weather from. Yes. So we, yep. we've had some, like we've done weather from the deck of the Titanic. That's right. Atlantis. Space, Atlantis. Yeah, outer mm -hmm. space. North Pole. North, yep. 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 Been to some been to some places with you. What? So, you know, still, uh, like you said, um, we're, we're just 
we're just trying to we're growing in knowledge of one another, yeah. you know, and I'm growing sure. in knowledge of you, Bo. And so I've taken you to the far reaches before and yeah. gone into an imaginative place. But I thought, what if we went with just the stark reality of weather from the set of This Is The Day? <laughs> Like, so you mean like, like the actual weather? Like, I mean the weather of the current reality that we are in right from, now. From this place that from we're in? From this place we're in. So, um, um, yeah, I mean. Okay. So, here we go. Uh, here we are. Hi. Uh, on the set of This Is The Day with yeah. our on the scenes weather report. Yeah, very good. Um, if, if any of you are traveling to the set this day, we want to make you aware of what you're going to be encountering. Yes. Uh, the, uh, the temperature remains a steady 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Yep, climate control. Um, mm -hmm. So not a lot to report there. Um, it's going to stay the same. Not a, not a cloud in sight. Nope. In fact, not, a, nope. not a sun in sight. Nope. Uh, um, not, uh, not sky in sight. Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. And um, very adequate and proper ventilation. Uh -huh. uh, so the air is going to be circulating. It does um, move, but it doesn't... Yeah. Feel like wind. It's not wind. Um, it's just yeah. It's it's all very comfortable movement. and okay. Okay, uh, that's weather from the set of this is the day. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> I, I don't understand what's wrong with you. Oh, uh, it just I'm try I'm trying to figure things out. You know, okay. it's like yeah. All right. Is it going to Willy Wonka's chocolate factor right. or does he want like <laughs> just truth? You know, is he? I don't know, Bo. Okay. okay. Yes, we have now given the weather from a climate-controlled room. <laughs> that's, that's fantastic. Wouldn't it be funny if the weatherman was like, well, I'm in the studio, so I have no idea what you're experiencing, <laughs> where you are. Why don't you go outside? Why don't you go outside and you let me know if I might be going outside <laughs> after my shift? But right. uh, some weather system in Stillwater, Oklahoma, says this, or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. What Norman. Norman. Norman, yeah. yeah. What? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's time for uh, Every Day with Jesus, Every day. our daily devotion in 140 characters or less. All right, so uh, our thought for today, June 12th says, don't strive for first or second. Those come far too easy. Third place is our goal, but we often get ahead of ourselves. Love God, love others. And then the scripture is Philippians 2, 3. Do, not, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. But in humility, consider others better than yourself. Mm -hmm. I love that verse. I do too. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, just, I, like, uh, I like thinking about that. Don't, uh, don't strive for first or second. Mm. Uh, those come far too easy. And then I like the little flip, but we often get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, mm -hmm. and it's really to be third, to, to love mm -hmm. God, to love others in... Um, and to be in that kind of third place, that's a, that's a place where we're really able to follow Jesus. And it's tough if we're not there. Yeah. If we get ahead of ourselves, then we get, we're getting ahead of Jesus and what he's leading us to do. Yeah. That verse is so helpful for me because, like, um, you've got Paul saying there, like, do nothing out of selfish, selfish ambition or vain conceit. Humility, consider others better than yourselves. Mm -hmm. And then he like, goes into that, like, hymn where it's like your attitude should be as that of Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God did not consider equality with God something to, like, hold on to but made himself nothing, you know, like releasing. Yeah. And so that first, second place is just like, mm -hmm. I'm releasing my uh, trying to hold on to being first or second, you know. Yeah, and, and, and Jesus, you know, who being a very nature, God actually, yeah. you know, has this identity. Yeah. But we are created in his image. Yeah. And, and so for us to not try to grab hold of that, yeah. but to just be like, okay, you yeah. know, to release that, to say, Okay, um, I'll surrender and, and be in this position where your love moves through me to other people. And yeah, and even in that place, uh, you, can, you can be corrected, like we talked about earlier, mm -hmm. and it's uh, going to be okay. You know, like yeah, you receive that knowledge. You receive yeah. that knowledge and, and then grow from it, and it's good. It's a good place. Yeah, it's a pretty foolish way to live when we're exalting ourselves well, over God. So anytime we sin and, and we disobey God, you know, willfully either not doing what he's told us to do or... Um, doing something he's told us not to do, mm. you know, that's a, that's a foolish thing to do because here's the creator who understands us and the mm. world he's made and he's for us, not against us. His commands are good and, and they're for us. And so when we exalt ourselves over God, then we'd only stand a reason that if we're doing that, we're definitely exalting ourselves over others. Mm. 
And whenever you do that, um, then, then you have a tendency to harm people, to hurt them, to, to push them down, um, or to step on them or cause damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of pain in the world because don't, of that. Don't want any of that. No, I don't, we don't need any more of that. There's no. enough of that, so mm -hmm. let's live in a different way. Yep, Yeah. I love that. Yeah, very cool. Do a little- uh, Trooper suit. All right, trooper suit. Love it. Good, feeling, I'm feeling smart today. Feeling good? Feeling, yeah, smart. feeling smart. Feeling smart. <laughs> Feeling smart today, so the way this works is Drew Chris draws a card at random from the original 1981 edition of Trivial Pursuit, mm -hmm. the game. If you get all six right, we will send you a congratulatory fun dip in the mail. It's the only way to get one of those fun dips. If you want a mug, gotta share the show. That's right. Share the show, you might get a mug. One of those a day, but the only way to get a fun dip is you gotta get all six questions right. So play along, type your answers in, keep track how many you get right. Let us know if you get all six. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. All right, this is blue. Okay. Um, what flag flies over the fortress enclave of Gibraltar? Oh, Gibraltar, Gib fortress enclave of Gibraltar. Fortress enclave of Gibraltar. Gibraltar? What flag flies over the fortress enclave of... Enclave. Enclave. Enclave? What did I say? Is it, uh, is it Ian or Ian? Ian. It's on, I, on, oh, enclave. I, I don't know. I mean, that's all no, I've I think you're right. Heard. Okay. Enclave. It's enclave. Enclave. Of, of Gibraltar. Gibraltar. Um, a lot of words in a sense I don't know if I know. I'm gonna go with, I don't know for sure. Um, Portugal, Spain. They wanted neither. You, the Union Jack. Oh, they want the name of the flag. The name of the flag? Okay. What flag flies over? It's the English flag, I didn't get it. There you no, go. Okay. I feel dumb now. No, I don't know. Uh, pink. Pink. Entertainment. Do you want a new card? No, Do continue. We? All right. What comedy team appeared on the first Ed Sullivan show for $200? What comedy team? Okay, um, first Ed Sullivan show. I'm gonna say Laurel and Hardy. They wanted Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. Okay. And then um, Jerry Lewis went and gave his to a, uh, to a telephone. Okay. Yep. All yeah. right, just kidding. Uh, yellow. Yellow, history. Okay. Who was the founder of Islam? Who was the founder, founder of Islam? Founder of Islam. Okay. Um, Muhammad? Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, Brown? Brown. Um, art and literature. Okay. Who was, Time's, who was Time Magazine's Man of the Year for 1979? Time Magazine's Man of the Year for 1979. 1979, uh, was, was it funny? Uh, it's difficult to say. Ayatollah Khomeini. Yep, that's it. Is that right? That's absolutely right, yep. Ayatollah Ruhola Khomeini. Khomeini. Khomeini, yeah. okay. okay. Um, all right, the uh, green. Green, I'm feeling smart again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Science of nature. Uh, who taught the Beatles uh, transcendental, transcendental meditation? meditation. Yogi, mm. Uh, mm. Uh, what's the Bakra? I don't know his name. No, it's Maharishi Mahesh Yogi. Yo what's the Harishi. Harrison song that's all about that? Uh, Hare Krishna. The, yeah, yeah, Hare Krishna. Uh, but how's Hare Krishna? What's yeah. okay? Dalai, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so wait, say say the name again. The, Maybe yeah. they got it right. Mahar it ends with Yogi, but yeah. that's Maharashi. That's like Maharashi. Mahesh. Mahesh. Yogi. Yogi. Yeah, so yogi is not accepted as the right answer. No. See, because that just means teacher. Yeah, I think so. Right? Yeah. So just, it would be like... Yeah, you gotta yeah. get the name. Yeah. All right, All moving right. on. Um, here we go. Science mm. green? Uh, gr uh, orange. Orange, sports and leisure. What university football team... Got this. ...did O.J. Simpson take to the Rose Bowl? 1981, folks. I'm just giving them a chance. Okay. So. Uh, USC. That's absolutely right. Right, the Trojans. Trojans. Yeah, yep. absolutely. Yep. Uh, what was it like? I don't. I know like four over four hundred yards. Or what was his like record with in college? I don't know. All right. Yeah. It was know. crazy. Yeah, he was. And then professional, it was like. Yeah. What Buffalo the, Bills. Yeah. What the whoa? Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. If you got all six right, uh, let us know. We will send you a congratulatory fun dip in the mail. That's right. If you didn't get all six right, but you're feeling lucky, share the show. Share the show. Share the show. You might get a mug. Might get a mug. Yeah. Let us know. Yep. Let us know. Absolutely. Hey, uh, we have a commercial. 
commercial break? Sure that. I love it. Hey church, thank you so much for your continued obedience and generosity as it helps us to reach more people in more places and we want to see more ones come to know Jesus in the days ahead. Setting up reoccurring giving is really simple and I thought I'd just show you how truly simple it is. You want to jump online and go to the church's website, manchesterchristian.com. On the top right, you will see a drop-down menu on your mobile device or on your desktop. Click on Give, which will take you to a page where you can click Give Online. Once you specify at the top the amount you would like to give, you can set up reoccurring giving or give a one-time gift. And if you're giving a reoccurring gift, you can then choose the frequency of how often you want to give. You can choose which fund you'd like to send it to, and we have two options. First is the general fund, which goes towards the daily operations as well as ministry partners we support. The general fund is where we prefer your tithe to go. The second one is the one fund, which goes toward future expansion to reach more people in more places. The one fund is for offerings above and beyond your normal giving. So choose the campus you attend and click next. You then put in your phone number to verify your account, and lastly, you will input your card or bank info. Then just click next and you're done. Thank you so much for supporting the mission of the church in this way. Way to go, church. Welcome back. We're back. Yeah, we're back from commercial. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, Friday edition, we, we do things a little different, you know. Uh, a lot of times we do a little uh, show and tell. That's right. You bring your... Uh, little item from <laughs> some, little some kind of nostalgic yeah something <laughs> something to share and uh though on fridays though yeah. we do a little uh bow and tell bow and tell with this incredible uh bag that <laughs> that you uh, like crafted for me my bow and tell bag it's pretty yeah. pretty special there you there really... was there was a question brought that i wanted to get clarification okay. on if the the boys helped me and did the boys help and johanna had said i sure hope they did they did not this is all you this was all me yeah this is all just, drew Chris. just a grown man at his desk Crafting, crafting away. away. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sure is appreciated. Okay, yeah. so inside the mm -hmm. bow and tell bag today, yep. um, I have something really special that you okay. may not know about me. Okay. Did you know that I wear glasses? You know, I would assume that you didn't wear glasses. Yeah. But you actually do, like, need corrective lenses? I, I wear them. You wear them? I wear them. These are my glasses. I, have I, I don't know if I've ever seen you in glasses. Yeah. They've been in the, the bag the whole time. The whole time, yeah, waiting for this. Waiting for this moment. Yeah, I had a, I was, uh, just wanted to share them with you today yep. and with everybody, because most people don't know that. You know, they, right. they think, oh, he's got perfect vision, yep. and he doesn't need corrective lenses, but I do. I think it's because you are so, so clear. You give us such clarity that we all were like, he's, he's got the perfect vision. Could be. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure how that works exactly, <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, I do. I do wear the glasses, and um, thought I would uh, just do a little bow and bow and yeah. tell with you. Got my glasses here. Can I throw something out there? Sure. Okay, Mr. Judd's third grade class. Mm -hmm. Little Drew's there. Uh, Mr. Judd had this whole thing. Remember the phone book? Remember, like, uh, like where you look up phone numbers. Yeah, you look up phone numbers. Okay. Mr. Judd would be like, "All right, we got uh, the Mitchells." I want you to look up uh, Jeremy Mitchell. We'd have to go and like find Jeremy Mitchell's number, and it's like there's nine of them, and he's like, you write them all down. It's like, how is this math? What are we doing? Anyway, that was a real thing we had to do at Mr. Judd's class. Now I remember Mr. Judd doing math up on the board. Okay, mm -hmm. green chalkboard, white, uh, chalk, white chalk, but it's like a real like. The contrast was tough. Real tough okay. contrast, and I remember just going like, uh, and I wanted to be like, okay, yes. My problem, sitting too close to, uh, you know, Roadrunner, I get it, or whatever, you know, like, okay, there's, I'm, I'm a part of this, and maybe genetics, all this stuff. Mm -hmm. But then, I'm also like, I feel like the board is to blame a little. Like, why not some type of contrast in color so that I can see uh, the board, you know? Like, I feel like maybe with the smart boards now, and even, like, dry erase boards, that's a smarter, like, the chalkboard was maybe not... Maybe not the best choice. The best choice. How about when they use the yellow chalk? The yellow chalk. I thought that was even harder to see. Yeah, I mean, hey, we're gonna make this more of a challenge. And I and I'm not a colorologist. I just feel no, like those things no. don't really line are, up. Yeah, yeah but very few <laughs> are. <laughs> but then, yeah, I mean, then you go to the optometrist. You get these glasses. Um, the vision is so bad that the the technology of that time means you're literally putting on big pieces of glass on your eyes, you know, and you're just 
out into the world. Now I can see, but I also just have these things that are attached to my face at all times. And okay. I, I feel a little bit like you're making fun of my glasses. No, 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 no. Yeah. I, I am a corrective lens wearer. I've, I've, oh, are you? I've moved to the contact lenses. Oh, I see. Um, but I, I just jump Yeah, just most of the time for me, I just can't see anything. Can't see anything? Nothing. Yeah, okay. no. Yeah, that's why I, I probably behave the way I do. I did not know this, Bo. Yeah. I would assume that you were 20 20. No. Nope. Uh, Blind as a bat without my corrective lenses. I am as well. Yeah. And uh, uh, heaven forbid you lose your glasses. How are you gonna find them? You know? You can't see. Ever had that? You can't yeah. see. So oh, yeah, no, all the time. They were in, I, didn't, I didn't know where they were all day, and it turns yeah. out they were in that bag. They were in that bag. <laughs> yeah, I, did, I didn't know. How about those transition lenses? How do you feel about those? Okay, so I tried that. Yeah. I tried that, got a hard no from the Caliente. <laughs> I came home, and she was like, what are you wearing? Nope. What's going on? She's like, you want me to go get you some white Nikes or whatever, or white New Balances? <laughs> Large white shoes and <laughs> where are your where are your pleats? Where are your, your pleated khakis? Pleated khakis. No, yeah. again, I here's the deal. <laughs> it was hiked up pretty high. Absolutely, and right, wrong, and different. It's a brilliant technology. I thought it was awesome. I don't need two pairs. I can get, um, but I had to go back and get them retransitioned. Did they do that? They did that. Okay, and then what do you do? Like the little clip-on thing, like for sunglasses? Yeah. Uh, no, it's, it, it is a shift. It, again, this is, again, for the corrective lens wearers, you either have transitions, you have the clip on, or you don't have sunglasses. Oh. Well, and you, see, you have I to, struggle with that because of the glare, so I, I yeah. do the little the flips. Little I go, yep. And are those prescription? Well, the glasses are, but, are, then, but then, yeah, then, then the overlay is just, yep. you know. Yep. I would love, like, a little... I would love that, man. Wouldn't that be amazing? Where you're just like, I don't know, man. You're just like, oh, man, uh, looks like Jason's eating something good. Oh, looks like Jason's got a roast beef sandwich. <laughs> that does look good. Mm. Like, you know, like binoculars that are like yeah, transition I, lenses. No, I got you, yeah. Bionicle, was... baby. I'm talking bionics. Yeah. Talking bionics. You just went. Like really deep into that, yeah. I, I was merely thinking about like glare from the sun, like right. how you handle that, and maybe you know, like in your car, there's like a hood that just goes, and then when you're done with it, it just goes. Yep, that's it. That's all I had. See, I'm a guy, and you're dome. Yeah, and you're. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's like, man, I wonder what kind of ant that is. You're you. Sure. <laughs> so good, so good. What's the comedian where he talks about, why don't we just make all the windshields prescription? Well, because then everybody would be like yeah, sick if you have a different prescription. Uh, yeah, that'd be, yeah, that'd be tough. Yeah, you know, the tent, they have these tent laws. Have you seen people where you drive by and it's like, that looks like a stretch limo, but it's just like a forerunner? Oh, tinted windows. Tinted windows, yeah. sorry. Okay. I had, I had uh, got a, in North Carolina, I had too much tent and I had to take that Over stuff tent. off. Yeah. yeah, there's a degree of tent that you yeah. can have. Yeah. You're over-tented. But I'm like, this is more, I'm not trying to be cool, it's guys. It's hard to imagine you, like, I, I overdoing be, something. I just don't want to be hot. It gets hot in the car. <laughs> so you got to get the tent to keep the sun out. Man, you know? You've had a lot of trouble with the law. I have, you know, listen, I am, I am an outlaw. <laughs> yes, I am an outlaw. <laughs> Half Cherokee and Choctaw. All I right. am an outlaw. Oh, yep. that's fine. Okay. Uh, you know what I want to do? What do you want to do? I want to do a little uh, sermon. You got something? I got a little sermon. I think I got a little something in me. Little sermon, little sermon, little sermon, little sermon. Little sermon, little sermon, little sermon. Yep, here we go. Sermon, 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 sermon. That's just the volume button right there. Sermon remix! Let's do it. Let's do it. As we persevere through the trials and the temptations and the things that we face, then we step into obedience. And obedience is so powerful because obedience shapes our identity. So we're reborn, we have a new identity. So how do we live that out? Uh, it comes through obedience. Understanding that God's commands are for us, not against us. That God is pro you, he's, he's pro people. He's, so why, why, why are we against when God, God is for, he's for? And he's, he's for change and he's, he's for making new and new life. And that obedience you know, shapes this new identity that we have in him. Verse 19 says, my dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen. Just keep the scripture up. Let's pause right there. Everyone should be quick to listen. Listen, 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 listen. Listen. Listen to God. 
Listen to people. Listen where there's hurt. And you can't listen while you're talking. You can't listen while you're screaming. Listen. Slow to speak. Slow to become angry. All this human anger that we're experiencing in our, in our world, it's not the new identity that he has for us. And I, I know that, it, that God uh, at, at times is righteously indignant. It, he, is, he is righteous and he's indignant. And he says, this is not how things should be. And he is changing things, but our anger leads to sin. And so in him, he gives us a better way be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to become, become angry because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. There is a right living, a right living. And, and my anger has never put me on the path of right living. It has never put me on the path with Jesus. My anger has caused me to to lash out. My anger has caused me to do harm. My anger has caused me to use words that do damage and destruction and promote death. But when I am quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to become angry, I basically hit pause, call a timeout, take a knee, get low. Then there's a, a righteousness, a right living. Listen, 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 listen. It, it almost, it, it really is like you have to like say it, you know, um, you have that, you've seen that video where it's like, listen, Linda, Linda, listen, 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 uh, because I think it is, I don't think, I know it's hard. Well, listening? Listening. Oh, yeah. Because, and not even just, there's just, there's so much here that wants to like, even when you're talking, like trying to actually hear what hear and listen, and maybe I'm mixing those two words, so then maybe they're different, you know, because hearing has the obedience component, but like trying to even slow down enough to see the other, that they're talking, instead of just going, I want to project myself into this, and I only want myself to be a part of this conversation, not anything else that someone else is giving, I want just, you know. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, in this point where it's like obedience shapes our identity, that listening component, I mean, I don't know if we get to, I don't know if we get anywhere without listening. You know, if we get, if we don't listen to God, if we don't listen to each other, I don't, I think it's really just this isolated island that I live on that is just me and that goes as far as me can go, you know? I don't know. It's been very far for, no, for me. For, not for me. I don't know, it's a little different for everybody. Like some, sometimes, you know, maybe some people are really good at, comparatively speaking, at, at life, you know, right. like in the ways of this world. And, you know, you, you're like, no, I'm doing, I'm doing all right. Mm -hmm. um, but there's always a ceiling there. And you're right, there's a difference between hearing mm -hmm. and listening. So you can hear, thing, and, and it could just be noise. You know, you could hear sound or you could hear, well, I recognize that somebody's speaking, but to listen, to mm -hmm. uh, actively engage. So I guess there's like that kind of action component mm -hmm. on that. To, to hear something doesn't necessarily mean that we're listening to it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so with, with God, to listen to him, to even carve out space to really hear his voice. Because that's the, the thing about God is he's not, he's not really a yeller. Mm. He speaks, you know, the scripture talks about like the Holy Spirit being the still small voice and, and he whispers, which is so good because that's really what we need to like, like tune into him and pay attention. And, and he speaks in that way. But then I think so often too, like the voices we probably most desperately need to hear are, are quiet voices, mm. are calming voices, are are voices that are speaking reasonably, and those are the voices that aren't necessarily being amplified. Right. Um, probably ever, but certainly in our world right now, I think it's pretty obvious. The the voices that are most incendiary or are 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 causing the most uh, trouble are the voices that tend to get elevated yeah. and turned up, as opposed to you know, find some voices that are that are good to listen yeah. to. Yeah. It's interesting, like when I, I think you, you talk, like you begin to think about some of these, how they play out in your life in the closest relationships that you have. And I often with like, with Kaylee or with like uh, friends, um, I will often hear what they say. Uh, like I'll hear it and I'll, what I will pose to what the words, that the, uh, the communication they're giving me, I'm giving uh, older context to it. So I'm go they're saying something and I'm going, 
that's really what she means, which isn't really the word she's using to, she, that she's choosing to say and communicate. Uh, it's now I'm putting on an old experience to go, okay, the pattern is Eric acts this way or Kaylee acts this way. And so I don't care really. It could be just like, she could be speaking gibberish because I'm going to go out of the emotions of her face and the tone of her voice, this, boink. And I didn't ever actually listen. I never yeah. actually gave it credence to actually view the other and hear what they're, they're saying. And, then, uh, and I think the same is true with God. We go, God acts this way. And it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's uh, listen. Listen. Yeah. Listen. It's good. Man. All right. That's love good. that. So, uh, so Drew, we yeah. haven't done a Chris Pie 5 in a while. Chris Pie 5. Chris Pie 5. It's uh, so those who don't know the way yeah, this works. Yeah, they may not know. Is, yeah, I give, uh, I give Drew a topic, and his last name's Chris, That's and right. so he gives us a Chris High Five. His That's top right. five. No, no particular order. Nope. You don't have to worry about order. It's just your top five. Top five. Any order you want to give them, but okay. uh, on a topic of my choosing. That's it. Okay. So, Drew. You, uh, you pulled a, a stingray That's right. out of a top hat. That's it. I want to hear, you know, with, if, if reality was, was no obstacle, mm -hmm. okay, and you could pull anything in the world okay. or out of this world, right. I don't want to confine you, mm -hmm. out of a top hat, okay. what are your top five things that, that you would pull out of a top hat? Oh, my word. Top five. What a things phenomenal Drew Chris would pull out question. of a top hat. Phenomenal question. First thing that goes to my mind, I jump to a TARDIS or I jump to a DeLorean any, or even HG Well, any kind of time, time machine. machine. Give me a time machine. I need it to function. I need to be able to put in the year and I want to go there, okay? If it has some type of wardrobe where I could costume change in it, I would love that as well. It doesn't have to, but uh, a time machine okay. would be my first one. Yeah, a well-stocked well time well machine. Well-stocked, yeah. equipped, functioning time machine because, man, I hate when you get into time machine and it's like, ah. Why are you only sending me to 30s? You know, the 30s. Okay. Um, second okay. item. Okay, number two. Number two is going to be, um, I'm going to pull out a whale. Like, like an actual whale. I, want, I said stingray, but I, and I love stingray. You're fine. But I would want to pull out from, like, I'd want to get inside the blowhole, and I want to just lift up an entire whale and hold it, hold it up. Okay. I would think that'd be fantastic. That's, I would be impressed. Yeah, yeah, and I just would just love to hold it and just like let it fly. And it's like a flying whale. And I'm like, this is amazing. Yeah, it's just a flying whale. Okay. Um, number three. Number three, this is gonna sound crazy. Tina Crisp, old ancestor of mine. Um, I mean, this is probably three or four generations back. I'd like to pull Tina out here and just kind of talk to her about what life was like for her. Okay. Yeah. So I'd like to talk. Just, just the head or the person? I want to talk to Tina. Person. Uh, I mean, I really, honestly, I don't, I don't need a full person. Just, just, just her cognizance and memories and, okay. yeah. <laughs> just, Tina, just, uh, yeah, hold up a head. <laughs> hey, Tina. Yeah, oh, man. Have a conversation with Tina. I'm getting uncomfortable with this. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> you found my line. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so number four. Number okay, four. Okay, number four. I'm going to, okay, so I one time had this sandwich. Um, <laughs> and, like, the, the, this sandwich... Oh, man, the, I can't, okay. Anyway, I would want to pull out this sandwich. Uh, I'm running out of time. But um, it was so, like, the, the temperature of the sandwich, the way the cheese, cheeses melted together, the bread was, like, clearly, like, fresh baked. Yeah. Everything was amazing about that sandwich. So yeah. I'd bring that sandwich out. <laughs> we go from an old ancestor to this just one, and it's not just, like, a recreation of that. Like, I want that sandwich again. Okay, that's number, that four. Good. Okay. number four. Okay, okay number five. five. <laughs> number five is, um, so there was a guy named Moses, and uh, Like in he, the Bible? No, no, no. no. Okay. Uh, no, he had a uh, um, pizza by the slice, <laughs> and I heard, uh, hear tale that he might be closing down. Uh-huh. And so I would want uh, his, his pizza shop. <laughs> Just pull, this off. pull the whole pizza shop right out of that. And I want it in my backyard. <laughs> and I want Moses to be there. And I want to time stamp it. This is ninth grade Drew. <laughs> he's going. He's going to go get a pizza by the slice <laughs> with Moses. And it was, it's so good. He's from New York, but he moved down to Oklahoma. Started this pizza shop. And <laughs> if you close down, Moses, I'll try to get this reality to be truth and I'll have that pizza because it's so good. It's really good. And it might be just because I'm projecting good memories onto it, you know. No, but no. It's, it, it was, it's it, your Chris Pie 5. Yeah. yeah. A lot of it is food related. <laughs> <laughs> a lot is food related. Yeah. I want yeah. you to know that I, I didn't just hear you. 
I listened. You listened? Okay. Uh, I did. <laughs> okay. No. That, that was a crisp high five. That was a crisp high five. That was crisp. I'm thinking of all the things I didn't mention about nope, my that, family. You only get five. <laughs> <laughs> that, yep, five, five, five. You wouldn't go back to the memory of our... Like, Oops, oh, hey, hey, hey. Yep. <laughs> hey, it's been Friday. The Friday edition of Friday This edition. Is the Day. We love getting to spend Friday and every day with you, and uh, we hope you have an amazing weekend. Join us for services yep. online, Facebook Live, YouTube, yep. uh, the MCC online, yep. uh, 8, 8 a.m.? 8 a.m. 9 a.m.? 9 a.m. 9.30. 9.30, 11, 11, and 12.30. 12 yep. yep. We'll see you on Sunday, and we'll catch you on Monday. Have a great okay. weekend.